Have you ever wondered if the people in your life are truly there for you, or just taking advantage of your kindness? It's like being at a crossroads, unsure which path leads to genuine connections. Well, you're not alone in this journey. Although unique to each of us, it's a shared experience, navigating through a maze of relationships, trying to sort out the genuine from the pretentious, as Marcus Aurelius once reflected, it's essential to understand the nature of those we associate with. Let's dive into the heart of this matter. In this video, we're going to explore 16 subtle yet revealing signs that someone might be using you. These aren't just random tips. They're carefully crafted insights based on understanding human behavior and emotions. From recognizing one-sided conversations to spotting when your generosity is being exploited, these pointers will empower you to see beyond the surface. But why is this important, you might ask? Because you deserve relationships that uplift you, that bring out the best in you. It's not just about avoiding users, it's about attracting and nurturing bonds that are truly rewarding. This is about your personal growth, your well-being. So, are you ready to transform how you perceive and navigate your relationships, moving towards more genuine and fulfilling connections? Number 1. Diminishing Comments As we journey through life, diminishing comments are like hidden rocks in a stream, seemingly minor yet capable of tripping you up. Imagine sharing a personal achievement only to be met with a sarcastic, that's all, or confiding your dreams just to have them belittled. These aren't just casual remarks. They're subtle tools used by some to keep you in a perpetual state of self-doubt, cleverly crafted to make you feel smaller so they can feel bigger. From a stoic standpoint, these comments offer a moment for reflection and resilience. Remember, the core of Stoicism is not about suppressing emotions, but understanding and managing them. When faced with such remarks, reflect on the Stoic principle of focusing on what's within your control. Your reaction is your power. Understand that these comments say more about the speaker's insecurities than your worth. It's their way of saying, I feel threatened by your success. You have the choice to either give these words power over you or to see them for what they truly are, reflections of someone else's inner turmoil. Your response? Meet these comments with equanimity and self-assurance. A Stoic doesn't engage in petty battles of words. Instead, they stand firm in their self-worth. Surround yourself with positivity, with people who genuinely support and uplift you. Life as viewed through the stoic lens, is too precious to be dimmed by others' insecurities. Maintain your inner peace and let your actions speak. After all, in the stoic pursuit of personal growth, your self-esteem is not a tool for others to undermine. It's your shield, your strength, unyielding to the whims of those who seek to use you for their gain. Number 2. Broken Promises Ever noticed how some people in your life seem to be all talk but no action? They're like magicians of words, weaving stories and promises with the ease of a seasoned storyteller. Yet when the moment comes to step up, they vanish, leaving behind a trail of unfulfilled promises. This is the illusion of investment, a clever, deceptive act where words are dangled like shiny baubles distracting you from the lack of real commitment or action. In these situations, it's crucial to observe not just what is said, but what is done. Actions, unlike words, don't lie. They are the true measure of someone's intent and commitment. When promises become a currency freely given but rarely cashed, it's a sign. Pay attention to the pattern. Does this person consistently fall short when it matters most? If yes, it's time to question their sincerity. It's like building a house with someone who brings beautiful blueprints but never shows up on the construction site. 
the foundation of trust cannot be built on words alone. And remember, it's not about being cynical, it's about being discerning. Trust and relationships are built on a balance of words and actions. When someone's actions consistently don't match their words, it's a red flag. It's a sign that perhaps they are more invested in the idea of being seen as supportive rather than actually being supportive. In recognizing this, you empower yourself to make informed decisions about who you let into your inner circle. After all, your time and emotional investment are precious. Reserve them for those who don't just speak, but also act with sincerity and integrity. 3. Unilateral Benefit Navigating relationships can often feel like a tightrope walk, especially when you find yourself in the throes of unilateral benefit. Unilateral benefit is like rowing a boat alone while someone else enjoys the ride, offering nothing in return. Imagine constantly being the giver in a relationship, offering support, time or resources, only to find deafening silence when you're in need. It's not just about being generous, it's a glaring sign that you're undervalued. Stoicism teaches mutual respect and balance, essentials for any healthy relationship. Your worth isn't measured by your generosity or availability. Recognize this one-sided dynamic and dare to set boundaries. It's not selfish, it's self-respect. Engage in honest conversations and see who adjusts. Those unwilling to reciprocate are merely making room for people who truly value you. Quality trumps quantity in relationships. You're not just a resource. You're a person deserving of a balanced reciprocal connection. Don't settle for a one-person show. You deserve a supportive team in this journey of life. After all, how else can you grow? 4. Disregard for your emotions or needs. You might not notice it at first, but when someone consistently disregards your feelings and needs, it's like carrying a weight that only gets heavier. It's a subtle, often silent form of manipulation. Imagine every time you speak, your words seem to evaporate before they reach their ears. Or when you're down, they walk past you like you're just another piece of furniture. This isn't just carelessness, it's a deliberate act to keep you under their thumb, a clear deviation from the stoic principle of mutual respect and empathy. They become the artists of your emotional landscape, painting it with colors of neglect and indifference, while your palette of needs remains untouched. This pattern is a bright red flag waving in the winds of your relationship. To break these chains, start by listening to your inner voice. It's that quiet whisper that says, this isn't right. Trust it. You are not a background character in someone else's story. You are the lead in your own. When your emotions are brushed aside, speak up. It's not about starting a conflict, but about honoring your feelings. If they continue to ignore your needs, it may be time to reevaluate the relationship. Surround yourself with people who not only hear you, but also see you. Relationships should be a two-way street, not a one-way alley leading only to their happiness. Stoicism teaches us the value of self-respect and inner strength, keys to recognizing and combating emotional neglect. Remember, respecting yourself is the first step in teaching others how to respect you. And sometimes the most empowering thing you can do is to walk away from those who don't value your worth. 5. Emotional Manipulation Consider the wise words of Marcus Aurelius, a beacon of Stoic philosophy. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This profound insight is your armor in the subtle battleground of emotional manipulation. Imagine navigating a relationship, a friendship or even a workplace where your confidence begins to wane, not due to a personal change but because of someone's hidden agenda to manipulate your feelings. The manipulator, 
cloaked in the guise of a friend or ally, skillfully chips away at your self-esteem. They employ a cunning mix of praise and criticism, making you dependent on their validation. This is not just a betrayal of trust. It's an insidious assault on your autonomy, a core principle in Stoic thought. To stand firm against this, embrace the Stoic practice of self-awareness and personal sovereignty. Trust your instincts. If interactions leave you more drained than uplifted, take note. This awareness is your first step towards empowerment. Boundaries are not just lines drawn in sand. They are the walls of your mental fortress. Speak up for your values, challenge inconsistencies, and most importantly, engage with those who respect and encourage your growth. Marcus Aurelius reminds us that our mental space is ours to govern. In protecting it, we not only honor ourselves, but also uphold the stoic virtue of self-control. In the face of emotional manipulation, remember that your peace of mind is your most valuable possession. Guard it with the wisdom of a stoic warrior. 6. Lack of genuine support. At the heart of every meaningful relationship lies the bedrock of genuine support. It's like having a personal cheerleader who's with you through every high and low. But what happens when this support is missing? It's like walking a tightrope without a safety net. You make a move, hoping for an encouraging word or a helping hand, only to find a void. This absence is a glaring red flag in any relationship, signaling that you might be in the company of someone who sees you as a mere stepping stone rather than a partner in growth. Genuine support doesn't mean constant agreement or unwavering cheerleading. It's about having someone who values your dreams as much as their own. When this is missing, your triumphs and trials become mere background noise to them. They might nod along to your stories, but their minds are elsewhere. They're like shadows that appear when the sun shines bright, but vanish at the first sign of a storm. Such relationships are draining, leaving you feeling alone in your endeavors. It's crucial to recognize these patterns. When your joys and sorrows are met with indifference or hollow words, it's a sign to reevaluate the depth and direction of the connection. To thrive, surround yourself with people who genuinely invest in your well-being. It's not about finding yes men or women, but those who challenge and uplift you, celebrating your victories and standing with you in your defeats. In a world where relationships can often be superficial, cultivating connections that are rooted in mutual respect and genuine interest is not just refreshing, it's essential. These are the bonds that not only withstand the test of time, but also propel you forward, enriching your life with a sense of shared purpose and understanding. 7. Constant competition. When every interaction feels like a tally in a hidden game of give and take, you're facing the silent scoreboard, a stealthy sign of being used. Unlike friendly competition, which thrives on mutual growth and shared victories, this is a one-sided match where someone's kindness comes with a silent invoice and their favors are transactions in disguise. Seneca, the Stoic philosopher, warns us against such imbalances in relationships, emphasizing the importance of genuine connections over calculated exchanges. In this silent scoring game, you're left feeling indebted, as if every gesture has strings attached, turning friendships into ledger entries. The key to overcoming this is awareness and setting boundaries. Understand that your worth isn't measured by what you can offer in someone else's tally. Build relationships based on mutual respect and support as true stoic wisdom teaches us to cherish connections for their sincerity, not their utility. By doing so, you embrace the essence of stoicism, fostering relationships that enrich both your life and others, free from the weight of hidden scores. You've made it halfway through, 
a true sign of your dedication to self-improvement. If you wish to share your journey, drop a comment with I attract genuine connections in my life or whatever floats your boat. Your engagement greatly supports our community. And if this content resonates with you, subscribing is a great way to stay connected. Now, let's continue. 8. Absence in critical moments. Fair weather friends are like shadows, present during your brightest days, but nowhere to be found in your darkest hours. This pattern of behavior is a telltale sign of being used. Picture this. You're surrounded by laughter and smiles when times are good. But as soon as the tide turns, their support vanishes like mist. These individuals view relationships as mere conveniences, stepping stones for their own gain. They're like actors, playing their part when the script benefits them, but exiting stage left when the scene demands more than they're willing to give. Their absence in your moments of need isn't just disappointing, it's a loud statement of their true intentions. Stoicism teaches us to see people and situations as they truly are, not as we wish them to be. In the face of such behavior, a stoic approach isn't about bitterness, it's about clarity and self-respect. Reflect on these relationships with a clear, unclouded mind. Understand that genuine bonds are tested not in joy, but in adversity. When someone consistently disappears in your time of need, it's a sign to reassess their role in your life. Remember, your value does not decrease based on someone's inability to see your worth. Instead, focus on building relationships with those who stand by you, not only in the sunlight, but also in the storm. 9. Lack of Reciprocity Imagine you're in a relationship where you're always the one giving. Your time, your care, and even your Netflix password. Meanwhile, the other person seems to just take, rarely if ever, pitching in. This is a classic case of lack of reciprocity, a red flag waving fiercely in the breeze of your interactions. Stoicism teaches us the value of balance and mutual respect in relationships. If you're constantly the one sending good morning texts, planning dates, or listening to their problems without ever receiving the same attention. It's time to pause and reflect. Is this relationship a two-way street? Or does it feel more like a lonely one-way lane? To address this imbalance, first look inward. Stoicism isn't about changing others. It's about understanding and adjusting our responses. Ask yourself, Am I enabling this imbalance by not communicating my needs? It's not about keeping score, but rather about ensuring a healthy, mutual exchange. Speak up, express your feelings and needs. If the other person values the relationship, they'll make an effort to balance the scales. If they don't, it might be a sign to re-evaluate the relationship. Remember, as a stoic sage of the modern world, your peace and well-being are paramount in a relationship, both parties should feel valued and heard, not just one. 10. Betrayal Ah, betrayal. In the landscape of relationships, betrayal is a silent storm that brews beneath the surface, often unnoticed until it strikes. Like an insidious vine, it winds itself around the pillars of trust, slowly squeezing the life out of them. You might wonder, how do I spot this creeping threat? Well, awareness is your first line of defense. Pay attention to the balance of give and take in your interactions. Is there a consistent pattern where you're always giving and they're always taking? It's like a game of emotional tug of war where you're left drained and unfulfilled. Now, let's talk solutions. It's not just about identifying the issue. It's about taking action Stoicism teaches us the power of perception and reaction. You have the control over how you perceive and react to these situations. If betrayal lurks in your relationships, confront it with the calmness of a seasoned Stoic. 
Have an open dialogue, but also set firm boundaries. It's not just about pointing fingers. It's about understanding the dynamics and deciding your path forward. Will you repair the crack or build anew? The choice is yours, but make it wisely. Keep in mind your emotional well-being is paramount and you have the strength to choose a path that aligns with your values and respect for yourself. 11. Selective Availability A subtle yet powerful tool of manipulation often hides behind the guise of a busy life. Enter Selective Availability. Imagine you're the go-to person, always on standby, ready to jump in whenever they call. Your presence is a constant, like a lighthouse in the dark. But flip the scene and there's a stark difference. Their availability is like catching a glimpse of a shooting star, rare and on their terms. It's not about clashing schedules. It's a choice, a tactic. They keep you at arm's length, controlling the tides of the relationship. You find yourself in a dance where the steps are always set by them. Your messages float in the digital void and your calls echo unanswered. When they do reach out, it's often to serve their own agenda, reducing you to a mere convenience in their story. This imbalance chips away at your self-worth, sowing seeds of doubt. Are you valued? Do your efforts matter? Here's where Stoicism steps in, offering a lens to reassess and reclaim your power. Stoicism teaches the art of perception, urging you to see situations for what they truly are, stripping away the emotional fog. It's about recognizing your value, independent of others' recognition. Remind yourself, your worth isn't tethered to their whims. Embrace the stoic practice of self-reflection. Reflect on the relationship's dynamics, not with bitterness, but with clarity. This isn't about building walls, but about setting boundaries, understanding that mutual respect and effort are the cornerstones of a healthy relationship. In this journey of self-realization, remember, you're the sculptor of your self-worth, not a bystander in someone else's narrative. 12. Making you feel guilty. When it comes to being used, guilt is a masterful manipulator's favorite tool. It's a sneaky trick, making you feel like you're always owing someone. They might say things like, after all I've done for you, or I thought you cared about me, turning every favor into a debt you never asked for. This tactic plays on your good nature, making you feel bad for even thinking of saying no. But here's the thing, you don't owe anyone your time or energy just because they expect it. It's not selfish to put your needs first. It's necessary. The art of saying no is crucial here. It's about respecting yourself enough to set boundaries. Remember, your kindness is not a currency to be spent on others' demands. Stoicism teaches us about not letting others control our emotions. When someone uses guilt to sway you, they're trying to take the steering wheel of your feelings. Don't let them. Take a step back and ask yourself, am I doing this because I want to or because I feel I have to? Stoics believe in acting according to reason, not pressure. It's all about being true to yourself. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Trust your gut. You have the power to choose how you react. And sometimes the most powerful thing you can do is say no. It's not just about avoiding being used. It's about living a life that's genuinely yours. 13. Lack of personal interest. If you often feel like playing tennis against a wall in conversations, you're likely in the grip of a one-sided relationship. Your words serve as a mere backdrop to the other person's solo performance. It's like pouring your thoughts and feelings into a bottomless pit expecting an echo, only to be met with silence. This isn't just about being heard, it's about being acknowledged. A true conversation is a dance of words, a give and take that enriches both participants. 
When you find yourself repeatedly sidelined in discussions, it's a glaring red flag. It's not just poor communication, it's a sign you're being used as a sounding board rather than being valued as a partner in dialogue. Stoicism teaches us the importance of mutual respect and empathy in relationships. If you're consistently ignored, it's time to question the value and health of the connection. Your voice deserves a platform, not a void. Counteracting this imbalance isn't about shouting louder. It's about discerning where your voice is valued. Stoicism encourages us to focus on what we can control. And in this scenario, it's the choice of whom we engage with. If your words fall on deaf ears, it may be time to redirect your conversation to those who genuinely listen. This isn't giving up. It's choosing to invest your emotional energy wisely. It's a form of self-respect to seek out relationships where your thoughts and feelings are not just heard, but cherished. Your experiences and emotions are not secondary plotlines in someone else's story. They are the essence of your unique narrative. Choose to share them where they're not just heard, but echoed back with the same intensity and interest. 14. Unilateral Conversations Ever caught yourself in a chat where it feels like you're just a pair of ears there to soak up someone else's saga? That's a unilateral conversation, a sneaky trap in the game of social exchanges. Picture this. You're all ears for their tales nodding along, offering that supportive uh-huh. But the moment you chip in with your bit, there's a sudden shift. They tune out, fidget, or worse, hijack the chat back to their favorite subject, themselves. It's like playing tennis with someone who won't let you serve. Frustrating, right? If this sounds all too familiar, it's time for a reality check. Stoicism isn't about enduring silently. It's about recognizing your worth and asserting it with quiet confidence. In these one-way conversations, you're more than just a backdrop to someone else's monologue. You're a person with your own rich tapestry of stories and insights. The next time you find yourself sidelined in a conversation, gently steer it back to a fair exchange. If they dodge, it's a clear sign they're more interested in an audience than a conversation. Always bear in mind that, in the art of dialogue, your voice is not an echo, but a melody that deserves to be heard. Stand firm in your value, and don't shy away from seeking the balance that every meaningful interaction demands. 15. Superficial Closeness Navigating through the maze of modern relationships, one subtle yet pervasive pitfall is superficial closeness. It's like a mirage of intimacy, where actions and words create an illusion of connection, but lack the substance of true emotional depth. This is the kind of relationship where plans are frequently made and just as often discarded, where promises are as flimsy as autumn leaves. This pattern isn't just a hiccup in communication, it's a deliberate strategy. The person maintains just enough proximity to benefit from your presence without truly investing themselves. It's a convenience-based interaction where you might feel more like a utility in their life rather than a valued individual. Recognizing this pattern is more than just a moment of realization. It's a call to reassess the dynamics of your relationships. Does the balance of emotional investment tip heavily in their favor? Are you feeling the weight of unreciprocated efforts? It's crucial to see these signs not as a reflection of your worth, but as a signal to pivot towards relationships that honor mutual respect and genuine connection. Stoicism teaches us about the value of authenticity and living a life true to our principles. In doing so, we must be courageous in stepping away from those who treat relationships as mere conveniences. Instead, we should seek connections that are rooted in sincerity, where mutual growth and support are the foundations. It's in these authentic interactions that we find not just companionship, but a shared journey 
towards personal and collective growth. 16. Continued lack of respect. Walking through life with someone who constantly disregards your feelings is like navigating a maze without a map. You find yourself in a relationship where your voice fades into the background and your needs are mere whispers against their loud demands. Recognizing this continuous lack of respect is crucial. It's not just about the big arguments, it's in the everyday things. Does your partner listen when you speak or do they dismiss your thoughts as if swatting away a fly? When you express your feelings, do they respect them or do they trample over them like a bull in a china shop? Stoicism teaches us the value of self-awareness and understanding our worth. If you're constantly feeling small, unheard and unappreciated, it's a glaring red flag. It's not about dramatic confrontations, but about the subtle signs, the rolling eyes, the sarcastic remarks, the decisions made without your input. These are the signs that tell you you're being used as a pawn in their game, not cherished as a partner in a team. Transforming from a passive receiver of disrespect to an assertive advocate for your worth requires more than just recognition. It demands action. If your discussions feel like walking on eggshells, where your words are twisted or ignored, it's time to re-evaluate. Stoicism isn't about enduring hardship with a stoic face. It's about recognizing what's within your control. You can't change their behavior, but you can change how you respond to it. Assert your feelings calmly but firmly. If they're late for the umpteenth time, don't just sigh and accept it. Express how it makes you feel undervalued. If your opinions are constantly overridden, speak up. It's not about starting a fight, it's about standing up for your dignity. Your feelings matter, your opinions matter, you matter. This is not just about finding harmony in your relationship, but about ensuring your voice is heard and respected. A stoic isn't a doormat. A stoic is someone who understands their worth and insists on being treated with the respect they deserve. Your awareness and growth matter to us, so if this video struck a chord, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and turn on notifications. Your interaction helps us create more content that resonates with your journey towards self-improvement and understanding relationships. Remember, knowledge is power, but only when shared and applied. So, share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Let's build a community where we can all learn from each other's experiences. Not sure what to comment? Simply write, I welcome genuine connections in my life. Thanks for tuning into this session guided by the wisdom of Stoicism. Stay stoic, stay aware, and keep striving for a better you.